Hi, Stargazer. This is Marcy of Earth Sky. Here's your moon phases and visible planets for October 2025. The full harvest moon lights up the sky all night overnight on October 6th. It'll be near the golden planet Saturn. By the way, harvest moons are typically in September. However, they are determined by the full moon closest to the September equinox. So this year the harvest moon is in October. Plus, this harvest moon is a supermoon, the first of four in a row. It won't look any bigger to your eye, but it will look brighter. The moon's closest point to the Earth for the month is on October 8th. The last quarter moon is on October 13th. Last quarter moons rise around midnight and set at noon. Can you spot it high in the sky after sunrise? We'll have the darkest skies for stargazing on the nights around the new moon on October 21st. So you'll have the darkest skies on the morning of October 21st to watch the Orionid meteor shower. You might see up to 20 meteors per hour. And here's a fun fact. The Orionid meteors are debris left behind by the famous Halley's Comet. Cool. And the moon is farthest from Earth on October 24th. The first quarter moon falls on October 29th. First quarter moons rise around noon and set at midnight. Look for it high overhead as darkness falls. As for planets, you can see two planets in the morning sky in October. You'll find brilliant Venus low on the eastern horizon with bright Jupiter high in the sky. As for the evening sky, Saturn is visible most of the night, rising in the east before sunset. And Mars lies low on the western horizon, challenging to spot in the evening twilight. Brighter Mercury joins it later in the month. Mercury and Mars will be closest to each other on October 19th. Look shortly after sunset, binoculars might help spot the pair in the evening twilight. The moon visits Saturn on October 4th and 5th with Fomalot nearby. The moon visits Jupiter on October 13th and 14th. They'll be near the bright twin stars Pollux and Castor. And the moon visits Venus on October 19th and 20th. Please like, subscribe, and share so you won't miss any upcoming night sky events. I hope you enjoy stargazing as much as I do.